Hey guys, it's me, Christy Lee. Good morning. You see these horrendous bags under my eyes? It's horrible. So I'm at the hospital. Eric's working here today. I'm just sitting in the car, but I wanted to show you guys this beautiful pond that they have out here. This is the view I get to have today from my office window. A lot of times you can see dolphins playing around in here. I haven't seen any today yet though. I think the water is probably too cold or something. I don't know. Isn't this pretty? The water's moving very fast. Alright guys, you might be a little wobbly today. I don't have my selfie stick on me, so I'm using this tripod-ish thing. And I'm always shaky, you guys should know that. So, if the video quality sucks, I apologize. Um, so, sitting at the hospital today, I uh, was up here yesterday as well. Yesterday was such a weird day. We came here early in the morning sun was out it was cold when we woke up but it was starting to warm up and I sat in the parking garage the second floor of the parking garage interior parking garage all day yesterday so it was dark first thing that happened yesterday is that my car battery died while I was sitting in it I don't know what happened um, I rolled down the window to have a cigarette when I went to roll it back up it was acting sluggish so I cranked the car Cause it just it tipped me like I was thinking oh my gosh my battery's got to be going dead and usually you know when you crank the car and let it run for a little bit the alternator recharges and all that stuff so went to crank the car to you know charge the battery up or whatever and it wouldn't start and so I'm sitting in the parking lot freaking out dreading the fact that I've got to tell Eric because I know that he's I killed the battery once before when we first got this because I forgot that I had the key turned on in the on position when I was sitting in the car and I was watching a movie on the DVD player and I had it sitting like that for like an hour or so and when I went to crank up the truck I killed the battery so I checked and I didn't have the key in the on position the only thing that was on in the truck was my charger was plugged in and I was playing on my phone while my phone was charging but that shouldn't be enough to drain the battery right so I'm thinking maybe the alternator is going bad because the other day when we got in the car to leave somewhere it acted like it didn't want to crank either. And I hate telling Eric things like that because he's, you know, we're always, always stressed about money and stuff like that. So anytime something unexpected happens we're both kind of upset about it. Can't tell if this is a coin over here in the parking spot. I gotta go see. So anyway, um, I didn't know what I was going to do because Eric was working. I was boxed in by cars all around me. So even if one of his coworkers could come jump me off, I didn't know how they were going to get to me in order to be able to jump me off. So I decided to get out my jumper cables and just kind of, sorry, stand there and, you know, in the parking garage and see if someone will offer to jump me. And two ladies drove past me and then an, an older gentleman saw me and asked me if I needed to jump and he hooked me up and I let it charge or yeah I let it jump to charge for I don't know 10 seconds and then I tried to crank nothing happened we tried it five times nothing happened he kept moving the, the cables around trying to find the best place to put them um and then finally it worked and um 
So Eric came out about that time and we sat in the car for about 10 minutes letting the car run so everything could recharge itself. And then he went back in, I shut the car off and tried to crank it again to see, you know, if, if it was the battery or if it was the alternator and it didn't crank the first time. So I tried it again and thankfully it cranked up that time. I don't know what that was. I don't know if I did it. I don't think I did it. It's like I said, the key wasn't on. I wasn't running anything except for my charger. And that little bitty charger, 2.1 amps, should not be draining my battery. You know what I mean? So then 3.30 rolls around and we pull out of the parking garage to go home. And like I said, when we got here, it was clear and bright, warming up. 3.30 in the afternoon, it looks like it's about 6 o'clock in the morning. There's a heavy fog completely covering the area of Jacksonville that we were in. It looked like everywhere. It was dark and it was windy and it was cold. Almost like um, what I would imagine like London being. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, or I don't know some other place that's always like foggy and Anyway, uh, so I don't know if maybe a cold front came in or something. It was the weirdest thing, and I got some video of it. Um, you can't really tell on screen. It just looks like it's a cloudy day, but I'm telling you, it was the strangest thing, and I'll, I'll put that clip in right here. Hey guys, so we have this bucket sitting up soaking these logs for the fish tanks and I just came out here to check on them and notice all the mosquito larvae and other kinds of larvae so I got a cup of clean water and a fish net. I'm going to get some of these guys out of here and I'm going to feed them to my fish and show you guys. Alright, so we got a few different kinds of larvae here, if I can keep the cats out of it. We got blood worms, we got mosquito, and then we got some kind of other bug. I can't remember what it's called right now, but they're the ones that have the horn looking things on their head. What are you doing? I'm thirsty. <laughs> Alright, I think that's plenty. Alright guys, so I got one of the jars that I found, and I got this big old stick. I'm going to put the stick in the jar. I filled the jar with some of the gravel that Eric and I found that we cleaned up for the fish tanks, and we had plenty left over. So I filled this jar up with it to keep the stick sturdy. Ta-da. And now, I gotta find a way to hang or glue this chrysalis back so it can turn into the beautiful butterfly it was meant to be. All right, so his glue is drying. I didn't have any super glue or hot glue, so I used liquid cement and then all-purpose um, glue. I guess and that's gonna take about two hours but as I was putting that on him he wiggled inside my hand and totally freaked me out so I'm gonna let that dry and in the meantime I have set up his little area over here I think I'm gonna hang him from right here just let him dangle there now put him some 
can't remember what they're called. These living plants and a little decoration there. So it'll be cute. And I'll check back in after he dries and show you guys what I did with him. Okay, so Eric hung the chrysalis for me. And there it is. So hopefully we'll get to watch a butterfly form. How cool will that be? Hopefully the chickens won't mess with it. Got ourselves a pizza for dinner. It's five bucks. The best deal in town. You can't beat it. Little Caesars. And then we are up at this park. Eric's trying to do metal detecting, but there's people here. We're both nervous, so we probably won't do much. And then we're gonna go home and watch Supernatural. Um, I, I think this is where I'm gonna end the blog, unless he finds something amazing, and then I'll come back. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for being here as always. I love you guys, and I will see you next time.